Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin ating series about rational expressions. No? In this video, ang gagawin natin is to find the LCD of uh, rational expressions. No? So, mag-start tayo sa pinakasimple, yung uh, fractions. No? So, ang gagawin natin, if we have uh, 7, 24, and 11 over 30, ang gagawin natin is to find the LCM of 24 and 30. No? And there are several methods to find uh, the LCM of two numbers. Pero ang gagawin natin dito is uh, factoring. No? So, if we have 24, uh, it can be factored to 6 and 4. No? 6 times 4 is 24. And hindi tayo titigil hanggat hindi prime numbers. No? So, 6 is not yet a prime. So, pwede pa natin siya i-factor as 2 and 3. At yung 4 ay 2 times 2. No? So, meaning 4... Oh, 24 is equal to tatlong 2. So, 2 cubed times 3. No? Tapos, we have 30. No? 30 is uh, 10 times 3 or 6 times 5. No? And then, 10 is 2 times 5. No? So, 30 is uh, 2 times 3 times 5. No? So, pag nag-factor tayo, dapat yung mga factors niya, i-arrange natin siya in increasing or decreasing order para mas madali natin makita no yung mga common no Na pa paano ang gagawin natin dito sa mga common factors na yan So remember for example nag-add tayo ng 7 over 24 tsaka for example addition siya no 11 over 30 Pwede natin siyang palitan ng factored form no so uh, 7 over 24 is 7 over 2 cubed times 3, at saka uh, 11 over 2 times 3 times 5. So, para kunin natin yung LCM, ito yung ating LCM, kunin natin yung LCM ng dalawa. So, for example, sa 2 cubed at saka 2, ano kukunin natin? 2 cubed ba o 2? 2 cubed, no? kasi yung 2 cubed, pwede natin siya i-divide sa pareho. So, 2 cubed divided by 2 cubed is 1, and then 2 cubed Divided by 2 is 2, two, uh, two squared, no? Tapos pag may common tayo na 3, lalagay lang natin yan. At pag meron tayong 5, lalagay natin. No? Now, the reason for this is, for, for example, yung 3. So, 2 cubed times 3. Yung 3 dito divided by 3 is 1. Tapos 3 divided by 3 also is 1. Next, if we have 5, 5 divided by Wala tayong number dito. So, walang problema. Magiging 5 lang sa times 7. Dito naman, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 times. Uh, Mamultiply natin dito. Times uh, the numerator. No? So, in effect, ibig sabihin, pag may common tayo, 2 cubed and 2, kukunin natin yung mas mataas na exponent. Pangalawa, pag meron tayong iba pang numbers, na pareho yung exponent, we just put 1. And if we have a number na hindi siya kasama dun sa ibang denominator, we also put the number here. No? So meaning the uh, LCM of 24 and 30 is equal to 2 cubed. Yung mas malaki. 2 cubed. Tapos ito. At saka ito. Common. No? So that is 2, 2 cubed times 3 times 5. No? Let's have another example. What about 20 and 50? 20 and 50. So 20 is 10 times 2. No? And 10 is 2 times 5. No? So meaning this is 2 squared times 5. Tapos 50 is 10 times 5. 2 times 5, no? So, meaning 2 times 5 squared. Okay. So, kukunin natin yung mas malaki na exponent pag common. So, 2 squared, meaning the LCM is 2 squared. 2 squared times 5 squared. No? And ito, since puro lang siya variable, kukunin natin yung pinakamalaki. No? So, a cubed, a tsaka a squared. So, a cubed, 
sa B, B, B to the 4th, tsaka B. Still B to the 4th. Sa so C, C, meron tayong C dito, meron tayong C dito, meron tayong C 7th dito. O C to the 7th. Meaning, uh, we have uh, C to the 7th as our uh, variable. No? Uh, meaning, the LCM of A cubed B C A B to the fourth and A squared B C to the seventh is A cubed B to the fourth and C to the seventh. No? What about this one? Meron tayong uh, binomials. No, no. Sorry, trinomials. So A, A squared plus 4A plus 3. So, ang gagawin natin is a factor. No? So, this one is A. I think this is A plus 3. Tsaka A plus 1. Tapos ito naman is a plus 3 squared, no? Uh, by the way, pag kayo ay nag-aral ng factoring, madali lang itong i-mental, no? So, kung hindi nyo alam um, kung paano i-factor, just uh, watch the factoring series ng SIP9. Hindi ko na mapapaliwanag ito dito kasi wala tayong time, no? So, ang assumption ko dito is marunong na kayo mag-factor. So, meron tayong common a, uh, a plus 3 tsaka a plus 3 squared. Okay, so ang kukunin natin is a plus 3 squared kasi yun yung mas mataas na exponent. Tapos meron tayo a plus 1 dito, pero wala tayong a plus 1 dito. So just put a plus 1. So yun yung kanyang LC, M. Okay, so to summarize, ano may ginagawa natin pag tayo ay, uh, pag kinukuha natin yung LC, M. Number 1, we have to factor each denominator completely. So kung nakita nyo sa lahat ng part dyan, kinakor natin maliban dito. No? Kasi, Ito naman, naka-factor na siya. No? So, puro lang siya uh, variables. So, kukunin na natin yung pinakamataas na exponent. Ito, pinactor din natin. Yung mga numbers sa taas, pinactor din natin. No? Second, yung write the product of all the different factors that appear in the denominator. So, lahat na magkakaibang factors. No? So, ito, meron tayong 5. Uh, mag magkaiba yun. So, Wala tayong 5 dito, wala tayong factor na 5 dito, but we put 5 here. No? So lahat ng mga kakaiba, ilalagay natin yung product. Oh, sorry, nakalimutan ko. Use, no? Use exponent notation for repeated factors. So nakita nyo naman, ginawa natin exponent notation yung kanina. No? So ito pwede natin siyang isulat as 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, but we use the exponent notation para madali natin makita kung alin yung mas mataas na exponent. So, yan yun, ito yung kanina, write, all the, write the product of all the different factors that appear in the denominator. And uh, lastly, we have on each factor, use the highest factor that appears on that factor in any of the denominators. So, kinukuha natin yung pinakamataas, no? In factored form, for example, ito, a plus 3 quantity squared, sa kanya nandito meron tayong a plus 3. So, we got or we choose, we chose the um, number or the expression with the highest exponent. Ito yung number yung pinag-uusapan natin. Okay, so basically that's it. Yan yung ating um, method kung paano kunin yung LCG no? ng mga rational expressions. Uh, later sa sunod na examples, uh, gawin na natin itong addition at subtraction and see what, what, what uh, will happen. No? Okay, maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.